Hey guys, I'm Lawrence. And I'm Josh. And this week we've taken a look at Meltdown on Steam Early Access. It saw its release last year on Android, but this is the first look I've had on the PC version. So here's what you need to know. Meltdown is all about frantic arcade action. You pick up your gun and you're straight into the fray against dangerous robot enemies. Gameplay revolves around cover based shooting, in close melee attacks and dodging enemy attacks. Cover is provided throughout levels and when you approach it your character will immediately duck behind it. By pressing spacebar you can leap over cover to get the jump on enemy units. However, when in cover you cannot shoot without compromising your protection. The health system has two aspects divided into a shield and hit points. Hit points are irrecoverable without an item. It can only be reduced when your shield is breached, and your shield recharges relatively quickly over time. Movement is granted by the WASD keys, and the mouse controls your crosshair. You can carry two guns to shoot with, which is subject to overheating and ammunition. Guns vary from flamethrowers to grenade launchers, but first, you begin with an SMG and a shotgun. The other guns have to be unlocked. They only become purchasable when you reach the required level, and they then have to be bought with coins, which are an in-game enemy drop. On top of unlockables are upgrades, meaning all of your guns can be given boosts like heat control and rapid fire. By completing these upgrades, guns can eventually graduate to a better version. For example, the grenade launcher can become a rocket launcher. As for melee weapons, you begin with a knife and then can unlock a chainsaw and a plasma cutter amongst other choices, but they cannot be upgraded. On top of all this is a class-based perk system, which consists of a soldier, specialist and medic class allowing you to customize your skills to suit your playstyle. Before we mention leveling up, this is an experience point based system which is earned from killing enemies, mystery boxes and completing missions. Completing missions is important, as all the valuable collectibles such as coins, mystery boxes and so forth are not retained unless you finish your objective. And if you do die, you can only respawn with a precious 1-up that are rare to come by. Aside from collectibles, there are drops that impact you in game. This includes ammo and power-ups that can double your damage and can nuke all enemies on screen. As you traverse the abandoned space station levels, robots will spawn spontaneously. All of them have health bars above them, so you can monitor the situation. And as you progress further through the missions, you'll find new robots. Fuel boss cannot be struck down from close range, as they'll explode. This will take a bite out of your health and stun you, leaving you vulnerable to other enemies. Other bots will have shields, melee attacks, varying speeds and powerful attacks. To fight bots, you may need to do more than just attack them directly. By pressing spacebar, you can dodge by performing a forward roll. Not a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll! This is the fastest way to move around and allows you to speed past enemy projectiles to create distance or reach a winning vantage point. It is also a great mechanic to give time for your shield to recharge or reload your guns. At the time of recording, the early access version has 30 missions which increase in difficulty. There are also two additional modes. First is free play which generates a random mission of difficulty relative to your skill. And second is Wave Attack, which you have to be at level 30 to play, so we didn't get to check it out unfortunately. Talking of features, this game has online multiplayer, which at the moment is exclusively co-op. Co-op is quite beneficial to the game, as if you get stuck on a particular level, other players with more skills and better perks can join to help you get through. And despite it being an early access title, we always found co-op partners online. If it's forward rolling, cover based shooting, enemy hordes and chainsaws, Meltdown packs what makes Gears of War great into an enjoyable arcade experience. Meltdown is great for quick action. There's not much similar quality around at the same price tag, so there's no reason not to check it out. 7 out of 10. The concept for this game isn't unique, but the art style is, which sets it aside from other similar games. When playing this game, I felt like I'd experienced it before. It hasn't pushed the boundaries far enough. Despite that, I'm going to give it a 7. Well, that brings us to the end of this review. We hope it's been informative. Remember, if you want to check out Mountdown, it's on Steam Early Access. And if you want to check us out again, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I've been Lawrence. And I've been Josh. See you next time here on Indie Former. And I've been Josh. See you next time here on Indie Former. Catch you later. Mm. One, take one. 8 out of 10. Oh no, I'm not doing 8, I'm doing 7.